Hello guys, today I will going to show you how to create a TensorFlow record file for accomplish the task of object detection. These things for the TF record files are created for for this for this for these images. I want to detect the cars in this in this images so I was to label this data. The output of this of this label task is this T TF record files. I just have one class as you can see here. Car it is and it's in the format of the Coco Coco trading dataset. For this we are going to use the tool CBAT. CBAT is a tool developed by Ethan and now is open source. This CBAT tool allows us to, la to annotate our images for the task of object detection, image segmentation. The first thing that we want to do is close this directory. I have closed this directory into my local machine. Here is CBAT. Later, you want to have Docker installed in your computer. I am using a Ubuntu HD 04 LTS, but if you are using Windows, you are just going to go install Docker for Windows. You follow the steps and you will get a slightly Docker installed in your local machine. So let's go. Once you get installed your Docker in your machine, we have the three the recommended option is install Docker Compose. Docker Compose comes alongside with, with the installation of Docker Windows, but in Linux you must to install Docker Compose apart. Here in the repo they show the instructions of how to install the CBAT tool with the support of Open Vivo tools and CUDA support. In my case, I install the TensorFlow Object Detection API Auto Annotation. What it means? It means that it, uh, oh, CBAT makes use of a deep learning model. I think that is here. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it uses faster region convolution neural networks, Inception Dresden B2, for make the task of auto annotation. These auto annotations take your images and try to annotate according to these labels. It's a very useful tool. So we are going to install this version of CBAT. The first thing that you must do is first be build the, the, the container. You just simply have to copy and paste this in the root of your of your directory. I have installed this before. Once you get installed this, you can check what images are installed. In my case, this will show, I think, with that name, here is. Let's see. It's the CBAT. It's around 3 gigabytes. I installed everything that I did for this, 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 this container. Once I have built this container with this with this with squad, this take this will take a lot of time. I think it'll be around one hour to build the container. Later you can run the container. I will run the container with the command below. In the root of the directory, don't forget to run it in the root of your of your repo, cl cloud it repo. And this will go to my local host. Yeah, it's 
زودی ایرادی اتاق بود. ایت بیست تا چیز تا دیکوبات لفت ترمینال آوت. بعد دبای پروگرام دبای کنتاینر استودی بگرد. خود چک دیس وی کن سی دکتر پس کیاس ای وی هف هیر. توی سیکوس اگو. 45 سیکوس اگو. ای دیس وی بای لوکال هست. Let's check our local host. This will take a little bit of time. Let's wait. Let's wait a little bit. In the meantime, I can command you that you can the different annotation options. I chose this one, the software option detection, but also you can see the support for a media container. Maybe I can edit to annotate here HTTPS. in my local host 8080 let's see this will take a little bit of time why let's wait a little bit in the meantime once you get build a ready you container you must to create a user this user will have the ability to create task inside of Cbat we are getting into the, the in the height it runs a Django application this Django application uh, uh, requires for you that you create an admin and a user and password for create the task you first to do this no, for, uh, as my container is put in the background I can execute this command inside the, co the container I run the, I executed this command inside the CBAT container I get into the Python tree I manage the users and I want to create a super user. Let's wait a little bit. Here we can see that my container is doing okay. But what happened with the bad application? Let's see. Here is here. When I want to, I need to create a, a, a user their admin a user password. I recommend you that you set admin for both admin. I I have uh, this user was taken, but I have a problem with creating another 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 username. It was in the the admin the user that I works is admin. I use a password admin. Once you get ready this, we can proceed, I can cancel the operation, but you must to here create a user, a, a super user with admin, mm. uh, admin password. This will go in a, this will run in just in this local machine. Let's see what happens with this. Hey, I'm here. Well, uh, the here, the application, is required by credentials. Admin user and admin password is for me. Yeah, we are getting into the annotation tool. This, uh, uh, the first time that you run this, you will not get this left image and this link in the, in the right when they say jobs. These jobs are my current tasks that I, I have before I will in 
this another draw tf adaptation tool to create a task but it will try to take this tube and run the deep learning model for make the uh, semi, uh, some kind of semi adaptation way the, the, the process of adaptation uh, let's create a new, new task in that case I will create simple task so to behave levels here is uh, the the program is requiring the how many tasks are we going to help in my case I will help the car and in this adaptate truck this does too uh, in my case you must you don't need to fill this and also not this we are going to say here from source that I, wa I want to load files from my local machine. Let's take a little bit. And here we are. Let's we are see where it is my, my, my data. Here are my images first. I will select all well. Uh, this this is the my previous my previous notation output. So I want to see the rest of the images as you can see here. This day one hundred twenty three files. Let's submit this. Yeah, successfully request. The images are very important. It's the save, but in this case, I will beg you for a scratch. For you can see, if I wrote here the draw TF annotation, as I said you before, this will run the, t the deep learning model for make so so kind of auto labeling. This will take a lot of time in my case because I use it. Uh, I don't have GPU in my computer. If you have GPU in your computer, this will be more fast. In my case, let's go to jobs. This is my three three jobs. Uh, this is the user interface of Sibat. Okay, here frame by frame, the or image of image that I have. Later. This is important. In this site, you select the type of annotation that you are looking for. In my case, it is car and truck. I think that the, the, the comma was not necessary here, but uh, let I want to annotate a car. Interpolation is why you want to make the job of tracking. In my case, I don't want to make the job of tracking. I just want to make the job for annotation. The output is box. I can fill also with a polygon, but uh, as we know, object detection need a box. Let's create a shape. Car. And so on for all images that I want to annotate. Let's see to everything is. Uh, this is all of these are cars with comma. This is a mistake that I think. Here you can see the different object that has been created. Let's go to the next wave. And uh, this is very boring task. I, I want to annotate all one of these. Here I have at the a class for motorbiker but I don't have here for just this I have truck let's rotate this as a truck uh, see as uh, so all you can annotate your images once you annotate all your images let's see in my case let's go to the menu open task this is the three jobs I want to go before 
Oh, here. Here in middle, you can save your annotation. Here. Uh, revolve. Stop. Stop. When once you make a dub, this will save an XML file. Dot XML in your download directory from your browser. This is for. This is just a warning. I have here annotated all this. As you can see, I have annotated all the cars in this little 100 images dataset. And it was a very laborious work, but most of this work was done by the auto semi annotation TensorFlow tool. Once I have ready my dataset, I just go as you as I tell you, dub annotation. I did this just download this XML file. That's it. I just did that XML file. Here is all my images and my car detection XML file is here. Let's see what it contains. This is the, the, the format for the Coco dataset. As you can see, I have my cars annotated by image. Where is the source of the image? It's here. ID4 for car ID4. This is the source of the image. The width and height. And every coordinate for this one. That's all that we need right now. Later, when you have ready your XML file, I will show you how you convert this whole directory, images and XML file, to this TF record. So, let's see you later.